Greetings, this is Gintian. In my last episode, I ran into this strange situation where a creeper and a skeleton seemed to make their way into the nether portal and greeted me when I stepped through. Let's take a look. I figured it had to be a creeper because a ghast can't blow up the stone. So I don't know what made it all the damage. Now I'm repairing it and I'm thinking that the only reason the skeleton survived was because it was in armor. So ongoing mystery. Either way, I'm finishing up the repairs on this, and then we'll go about our business. Of course, I haven't told you what our business is. I have captured a villager zombie, and I need to get the stuff to cure it, which means a potion. And I need to fix this floor so that it at least matches. I have some of the half slabs here, so I can put them in. And I don't have a flint and steel on me, so I will have to be sure to get one of those as well so that I can light this up. As always, I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. I know I need blaze rods and I believe one of these hallways in the nether take me to a nether fortress where I should be able to find blaze rods. With any luck, I won't have to fight a blaze to get them. Blaze rods would be used to make the potion brewer and to power it. And I believe they are also used in the actual creation of the potion. Maybe just to power it. I'll have to check in a minute. But either way, I need a weakness potion. I have plenty of gold and an apples to create a golden apple so the potion is the big hindering item I have to acquire for anyone that doesn't know to cure a zombie villager you have to first hit them with a weakness potion and then give them a golden apple which will then start the healing process and turn them back into a villager here we are, we're at the nether hub, and I believe over this way is the hallway to the nether fortress. And there's the sign, so it's this way. I've actually never been here, so this is a first. I am never have seen this or explored this part of the nether tunnels. Wither killing area. I feel like I should know what this means, but let's go take a look anyway. Should be right up here at the top. Oh yeah, this is the place where you fight the wither. Or let the wither die, because essentially its head gets buried inside the bedrock and that's it suffocates or takes damage and then dies. So we don't need to stick around up here. We know this isn't where we can find anything of use at the moment. Let's just continue on down this hallway a little further and I think we'll get to the nether fortress. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much further. Just a little bit. And this looks like the entrance to the nether fortress. And I guess I have been here before because I didn't get the achievement. 
And by achievement, I mean the one that you get the first time you ever visit a fortress, a nether fortress. And everything is covered with slabs, so nothing can spawn here. Ooh, look! Inside the furnace is three blaze rods. I think that's exactly what I need as a minimum. There's an achievement for getting the blaze rods. But we gotta check out the rest of these chests to see if there's anything else worth grabbing. Now that I think about it, earlier when I was talking about the place to kill the wither, I didn't explain why the ceiling needed to be made out of bedrock. The reason it has to be bedrock is the attack of the wither can explode just about every other kind of stone there is. I think somebody is preparing this spot to be a farm of some kind, possibly a blaze farm. Anyway, the one thing that does provide some resistance is obsidian, but the one thing that won't break for sure is bedrock. So you want to find a place where you have a bedrock ceiling, and that way you can essentially watch the wither die and it makes it much more easier to fight or kill. Okay, now I need to make my way back to the nether hub because I can go to spawn from there and I can get the things that I need to brew the potion as well as, more importantly, a flint and steel so that I can relight my nether portal in the nether to get back to my kingdom. Hey, did you notice that the ghast wasn't able to break the walls of the hallway? It can't destroy the stone, which is what leads me to believe that the original explosion at the start of this episode was caused by a creeper. And here we are at spawn. And it's nighttime. Oh, and I've made some major changes to my spawn house, which I forgot to mention. Let's go to sleep so it's not dark out anymore. I don't need the extra mobs bothering me, attacking, so on. The back of my house now goes down to the cave system that was behind the house. And up front here that parts the same and I now have an upstairs let's go the doors I modified these so that they are now open and this is closed you can hear the sound open closed open anyway they're both open what they keep the mobs out and upstairs we have this giant space. I added a back door that you can see. And let's go back down. I need to find the ingredients for a weakness potion. And there's one, it's the spider eye. And I need to figure out how to ferment it. Right now I'm looking for a flint and steel. I think I might have one here, but I'm gonna have to look in all of these chests to figure it out. Or anything that's useful for a potion for that matter. So I'm looking for sugar cane so I can have sugar. then I'm gonna have to check to see what else I need to make a fermented spider eye. So far no flint and steel, but there is a water bottle. I can use that. Let's get some iron and then we can check out some other places, chests, locations that might have some useful stuff. Let's look here. Oh look, a 
flint and steel. Just what I needed. I will replace it later. Just so you know, this is a community area, so I'm not stealing anything from anyone. We need some sugar cane. I realized that there may have been some in the chest, but I was focusing on a flint and steel. Now we'll make some sugar. Okay, so we have the ingredients. Now let's see what we need to do to create fermented spider eye. That's the ingredient we need to make a weakness potion. I'm missing something. Why is it not showing me the recipe for that? Okay, it looks like I, well, I have it only showing me the ones I can actually make. So I need to turn that off and let's type in fermented. Why is it not showing up? Oh, you, you have to hit return. And it's mushrooms. Mushrooms, I'm missing mushrooms. Okay, so mushrooms is what I'm missing, and I don't have any, so I'm going to go look for some and check in with you in a few minutes after I find it. Okay, I'm going to start looking. Welcome back, and the first thing you will notice is I am at Looney's store. And if you didn't know that, that's who owns this. And he said I could go ahead and take two stacks of slime balls. If you look in my inventory, you can see that I have three mushrooms so I can make the potion. Now he said I could take them, but I want to leave something for him anyway. And this leads to a particular story. If you watch Looney's last video, he was able to throw a whole stack of dirt into my inventory without me noticing because I was busy killing Pigman. I agree, he got me good, and it was funny, but just for the sake of argument, the popping sound of things going into my inventory, I missed that because the Pigman make the same popping sound when they drop an item and pick up an item, drop an item and pick up an item. And they do that with the other items that dropped when they were killed like swords. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And for that reason, I really need to give Looney his dirt back. So I'm gonna leave dirt in place of the slime balls. And I need more dirt because I don't have quite enough for two stacks of dirt. So I'm gonna go down and get some more dirt and I'll be back. I'm back again and I've got the dirt I wanted and now I just need to seal up the hole I made in the back of his basement. I don't know if you noticed or not, but Looney let, just left me a message, and you probably couldn't see it because I had my inventory open, but it read like this. LOL, I was wondering why you didn't hear the pop sound when you pick up an item or see the dirt flying in front of your face. I think I answered the popping sound part. And I actually didn't see any dirt flying in front of my face. So, just count me terribly observant. But now we can put the dirt into the chest, and then we can move on. And there we have it. Two stacks of dirt for two stacks of slime balls. And Looney, enjoy your dirt. I will come up with something else to get you back at some time in the future. And as fate would have it, the villager I had captured that was a zombie escaped and died. But I still will make the potion. 
And that's really all I have time for right now. So I'm going to call this episode and tell you that I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time and goodbye. Bye.